Yes, everybody. Welcome to the placement series of Triple IT Bhopal. Today, we are here to gain insights from our seniors who have made it to the companies like Microsoft, Flipkart, ServiceNow, Atlassian, PayPal, and many more. Today, we will be talking to Mohammad Huzefa sir, who has secured an internship at Microsoft by the end of his third year and later converted it into pre-placement offer. All this while maintaining 8.5 CGPA and actively contributing to college clubs as the part of training and placement cell and event lead in Kodem, the coding club of Triple IT Bhopal. Thank you, uh, really thank you for this. It's a great intro. Thank you, sir. So, firstly, uh, I would like to ask how was your corporate experience and what are the perks of being a part of Microsoft? Okay. Uh, the corporate experience was nothing short of fantastic to be very honest. It was eight weeks were the best eight weeks of my summer. And uh, I'll say uh, the perks of Microsoft, like Microsoft has a lot of perks to be honest. And uh, it has one of the worst work life balance. Okay, so that's one of work. And uh, if uh, I give uh, like a perk, a perk from the student side, <laughs> the food there ha- there is awesome. Like there is a really big kitchen there. Uh, with a lot of variety and of course there are vending machines which uh, give everything for free so you can just take anything in whenever you want and uh, of course there is like uh, the recreation activities like massages, uh, xbox rooms, I played there a lot uh, and uh, tea tables and snooker tables yeah okay that sounds awesome so next our next question is uh, let's start at the very beginning okay so uh, what were your expectations from college life and how was your first year? Also, what activities were you focused on? Okay, so my expectations uh, of my college life were basically a simple goal apart from good placement for that uh, I get to grow myself and develop myself as an individual. So that was like my main aim, <coughs> sorry, uh, to get into college, like to develop myself and like to like, have new experiences. And uh, coming to the first year, so my first year was like my I was introduced to competitive programming uh, from uh, my seniors at Podium uh, during that, that time, and uh, most of the time was spent uh, like uh, doing code shift and <coughs> sorry code shift. And at the end of the first year, like I had some like I had some experience with the development. Then I had uh, started HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So yeah, that sums up my first year along with a focus on academics and maintaining, building a CGP, not maintaining, but building a CGP. So my next question is, in order to get an internship by the end of your third year, so after placement, when did you start preparation for your preparation? And how did you prepare? Okay, uh, see, uh, when I choose the career, I don't know if it's, like, I, I'm sorry if I'm generalizing it, but uh, like when I trend the career, it's generally, first year, second year, and third year, we can start the DSA grind, project grind, and poor resume. I'll say that's not the way that you should do because these things take time. You have to inculcate these habits into you. To sum it up, it's like room wasn't built in a day. So, you uh, preparation is nothing but like uh, cumulative efforts of every day. So, that's how I will say. Small source of efforts every day to like uh, make yourself prepare for the placement season. And uh, other like if I say like the whole strategy I had during my uh, time when I was clear, I cleared the OA and uh, I had the time between the interview, I do I uh, referred to Stryber's community sheet and focused on like serious fundamentals like OOPS and OS. Okay, next question is after interview what can you do to ace HR rounds and group discussions? Okay, uh, so Microsoft uh, interview experience is basically, uh, the interview process is basically, it's a same day process wherein uh, there are two rounds conducted, one is technical and one is techno managerial, uh, HR manager round. Uh, so both of them are inventory in nature. So like you have to clear both of them. And the, my first uh, round focused more on my resume really along with the internships I had previously done at startups and uh, uh, and then we moved on to OOPS, OS and some questions of like deep understanding of DBMS. After that uh, I was given a DSA question to solve where we first like gave the brute force and then went on to optimize the solution 
and uh, the second round uh, also had three questions in them wherein the first question was a dfs graph question and the second was a uh, second question was based on stack lastly we had some discussions about the ethnic uh, the cultural values of microsoft and that was it uh, i'll say the follow up to your how can one ace interviews or group discuss or hr rounds is uh, every technical round also it applies to technical rounds also that you should have uh, you should have really good communication skills so that you can express yourself clearly what you're thinking what your thought process is so that the interviewer might get to understand what you're trying to say because uh, in short it represents collaboration and teamwork that if you can express yourself you can express yourself in the team so that you can work better so i'll say apart from your technical knowledge uh, keep working on your soft skills and that will be possible only like if you take part in events in college uh, stand up for yourself and like take part like uh, take a leadership with them so that's i'll say so so as we know at tnt you are a part of and coding mein bhi aap event lead the so how did you manage time between academics placement uh, preparation and uh, club activities okay uh, so ha huh, i guess the anyone would might say ki preparation karni hai not there is too much to take on uh, it's all about priority at that time the which you, uh, which your duty of yours are, is asking for more clarity at that time because like uh, in college your club isn't doing events uh, throughout 365 days right so there are times when you have to do events so there will be days where you have to prioritize that club your uh, duties at the club as a club member training and fitness will also have you have a team like you don't do anything individually so your team might help you you have to like you have to do your duties of course but again uh, your duties may vary may vary very Uh, according to the day you are like uh, whether you have to do something or not uh, academics also are like uh, engineering we are engineering students so as all we know that we study like a uh, day before a uh, night before the exams so it's just stressing but just study well and is we should placement only is it's like consistency do one thing take one hour one hour of your time and just try to put some efforts in your placement preparation either project build kar rahe ho resume sudhar rahe ho like or uh, your Uh, doing a dsa question so just be consistent in that you don't have to do five questions or ten questions every day or make the whole project in one night just keep on like doing something little better okay. uh, so just to spark interest of everybody watching i would like to ask what was the best part of your college life like koi crazy story jo aap share kar sakte ho yes. okay uh, again uh, sab bahut jaldi cliche answer hai but it's the most on the sad side can give you the best part of my college life are my friends like they were like unka support tha unke sath like uh, cheese and share ho sakti hai during down when you're up when you're celebrating so my friends do decide for them else college is just a classroom where you going to study us ke bina kuch nahi hai college life and uh, the best memory i'll say i had with them is hamare jab semester end ke finals hote hain so there are times when like the syllabus is too much and you're like you are having a mental breakdown ki nahi ho pa raha then we we'll just like uh, sab log gather honge songs baj rahe honge koi dance kar raha hoga ya kuch bhi random hi hai walk kuch lenge so that's do these are the best moments that i still remember yeah uh, next question is how did triple it gopal tnt self support you in your placement process okay uh, so uh, after i had secured my internship so some of uh, my internship dates were clashing with that of my classes uh, of my seventh semester so i was naturally i was concerned about the 75 percent if it is that area we have and like the college strictly enforces it uh, so i reached out to my training and placement uh, especially the student coordinators uh, devyash uh, he is a friend of mine so uh, i asked him like uh, what can be done and what to do so he told me like uh, the college like the training placement is really helpful in these steps so they provide me with an noc that basically is exempt me for that duration from the classes and attendance obligations so that i can focus more on my internship and like have my complete focus on securing a pgu yeah so next question is before getting selected how many times were you rejected from the company and what experience have you had okay so rejection is also a process or like part of process because without rejection like you cannot like focus on it like grow like a sector because so i'll say i had applied to many startups like i was in an internship hunt the summer intern hunt since early june and uh, i had the opportunities to sit for some uh, oas at big mncs like flipkart and although i didn't clear a screen round then but then i realized i had to focus more on my dsa skills or more uh, to handle the 
environment where there's no way. Apart from that, I had some uh, experiences with uh, startups. So uh, that the thing I learned was that uh, how to express myself clearly. That was like I was also lacking that. I was not lacking like शुरू से नहीं था मेरे पास मैं सब बोलूँ सो आई लर्न दैट आई वॉज नॉट एबल टू कम्युनिकेट माई थॉट प्रॉपरली इवन दो आई न्यू द आंसर सो दैट्स ऑल आई हाउट अपॉन आई वॉश यूट्यूब वीडियोज प्रैक्टिस मॉक विथ माई फ्रेंड्स आज दैन लाइक द शॉर्ट कमिंग इज सो या दैट्स वॉट हेल्प मी एन द इंटरव्यू फॉर माई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट लाइक more uh, junior scheme for guidance and all that so that's the one thing that changed and i love like giving guidance so it's all about so lastly one piece of advice you would like to would like to give your junior yeah uh, i'll just say are uh, very coming to college don't just uh, have one single aim ki mujhe bhi like placement hi leni hai achhi okay that's the ultimate goal i'll say ki at, at the end of the day you need a good placement from college but yeah uh, try to see college as something uh, as a opportunity for your opportunity of career any course you have uh, opportunity for you to focus on yourself and develop yourself as a person kyunki yaar this ye time jo hai like this is a really golden time and ye wapas to nahi aane wala of course like i am going to sit down after i am going to cover it and uh, i'll just say develop yourself you might be really good in studies but sir being good in studies is not an option anymore you have to be good in like uh, your social skills your confidence and if you haven't like tried things you try them in college because this is the platform where no one will judge you you can make as many mistakes as you want so just explore yourself develop yourself as a person as a, and an individual for the upcoming years of your adult life thank you sir i believe this must have motivated most of us in our internship or placement i do so i do hope so so that's all for today we will be back with another senior and another inspiring placement journey until then stay connected goodbye